everyone. It's me, Terry, of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of Tuesday Tidbits. Okay, so last week on Tuesday Tidbits, I couldn't think of a topic to, in order to, to um, talk about. <laughs> so what I decided to do is uh, I had been meaning to kind of get back into doing Stitch Your Library. And so I had, uh, bef the week, I guess, before that, I had talked about in my regular video, I think, my regular uh, Yarn Joy podcast video, where I wanted to start working in some of my magazines that I have collected over so many years. I have a subscription to uh, Crochet World Magazine. So I thought, well, I'm just going to uh, bring back Stitch Your Library and have you vote on uh, three uh, a choice of three different amigurumi patterns that I wanted to start on next. And they all came from magazines that I have already. I presented the three projects and so to, and then I allowed you, uh, or I was asking you aloud. Sorry, <laughs> that sounds funny. Uh, I was asking you to vote on which project you would like for me to do first of those three because I want to do all three of them. And uh, somebody had reminded me that all three of the ones that I picked out were uh, characters that are actually in, they looked a lot like characters from uh, particular children's books. Now I knew two of them were. I didn't know the other one was because um, I have boys. I have two boys and I have a grandson. So I really don't, I'm not real familiar with the, the little storybooks that are more geared towards little girls. I picked out three of these and I thought, oh, well, that would be so cool that if I make them and then I get the book to go along with the project, that would be a cute gift. Um, so anyway, I tallied up the votes and so I'm here to tell you what my, uh, what the winner is. And so what I'm going to do, since I want to do all three of them, whoever, whichever project won the most votes, um, that one I will do first. And then the one that won the second, the second highest vote, I'll do that second, the next one. And then the third one, I'll, I'll do that. So, like that. <laughs> so, I tallied up the votes right here. <laughs> and my three choices were a ballerina mouse. And a, a lot of people, that's the one that people had told me that it's like Angelina Ballerina, which is a storybook. And it's a mouse that's a ballerina, which I didn't know that. Um, and then there was a bear, it was called Fuzzy Bear, and that one, the, uh, the, that one I recognized as inspired by a character called Corduroy. Now, I do remember that story. And then, of course, Peter Rabbit, which is from Beatrix Potter. Okay, so the one that won the votes with 82 votes was Peter Rabbit, okay? So I will pop in a picture right here of Peter Rabbit. Now, this picture that I'm putting in is um, there's Jemima Puddle Duck that's right next to him because it actually has the pattern for her too. And I do plan on making her. Uh, the pattern set also has um, Benjamin Bunny, which is Peter Rabbit's cousin, I think. And then also um, uh, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, which is especially a favorite of mine. <laughs> So I went ahead and got one of my little project buckets right here and I pulled out, because I want to use yarn that I have already, I pulled out two, uh, a skein for uh, the colors for Peter Rabbit. I am going to be using DK weight yarn. That's what the pattern calls for and I have a lot of DK weight yarn right now. Uh, I'm getting ready to show you a yarn tour of my room and the way I have it organized and so I'll show I'll show you how much DK weight yarn I have. But anyway, uh, I picked out two colors. I picked out this color. It is a Bernat Softy Baby in the colorway Mouse. Maybe it's called Mouse. I'm not sure, but it's it's a light, it's a tan-ish type color. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use for his body. And then I'm going to be using this one. It is a DK weight yarn. It's a pretty blue color. I think I think this is uh, Premier DK, but I don't know the color way. I don't have the band anymore. So anyway, um, that's what this is. But I thought it was two colors that look like it would be good together. This, of course, will be his jacket, and then this will be um, 
the bunny. <laughs> and then it calls for a three millimeter hook. So I got my three millimeter hook and I put it in the bucket there. So I am ready get, to get started with that. It has, uh, it calls for safety eyes, which I have. I think it calls for uh, eight millimeter safety eyes maybe. I think, and I do have some eight millimeters. So anyway, that is the winner of the tally. So I'm gonna be starting on Peter Rabbit. And then uh, I do want to say that the, the so Peter Rabbit got 82 votes, uh, Fuzzy Bear, no, sorry, and, uh, Ballerina Mouse is the one that got second place with 44 votes. And then the third, uh, second and third place were pretty close together. Uh, the Fuzzy Bear came in third place with 35 votes. So that is the order of the amigurumis that I'm going to be making. So Peter Rabbit first, the, uh, the ballerina mouse second, and then Fuzzy Bear, I think it's called Fuzzy Bear, or Corduroy, uh, third. And then once I get those projects um, done, then we'll do another, um, we will do another vote uh, because, um, I, I really enjoy getting your input on the, the projects that I make. I do want to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day because today is Valentine's. If you're watching this on February 14th, this is the day that I'm actually filming it, February 14th. <laughs> I decided to go by the post office, check my mail, my post office box. I did pick up two Valentine's cards that I wanted to share with you that I was that was in my post office box. The first one here is from Sarah and she is from Florida. And she sent me this cute little Valentine's. It reminds me so much of the Valentine's I used to get when I was a child, you know, in, in school. I just thought it was so cute. It says, you're so cool. <laughs> and it says, happy Valentine's Day to Terry from Sarah. <laughs> That's so cute. And then there was also this little cute little envelope. Isn't that so cute? And it says, happy Valentine's Day on the back. And then you open it up and there is a Care Bear sticker. <laughs> and I'm definitely gonna be using this. I'm gonna put it in my notebook because I think it's so cute. And I will put Sarah's name underneath it so that way I remember that she's the one that gave me this for Valentine's Day. So thank you so much, Sarah. I really appreciate you thinking of me. Okay, and then I also got a Valentine's card from Valerie and she has a uh, YouTube channel, Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. And uh, so she sent me this, let me pull it out. So it is a Valentine's card, pretty shiny hearts. It says, with a heart full of wishes, each one just for you. Uh, and then inside for Valentine's day and each day through the year, uh, each day the year through. Uh, so thank you so much, Valerie, for sending me this nice Valentine's card. She also had, um, her Christmas card in here because she said that she had was behind um, she got behind sending out the Christmas cards like she wanted to and so she just put it inside the Valentine's card and it's so cute it's 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 a, a picture um, what do you call it it's like a picture card it's a photo and so there's pictures of there's Valerie and then of her little fur her fur baby she has it says with love Valerie Maggie Molly and Walter and of course Molly is up here. You see her a lot in the videos uh, I and then I believe the one with white. I think that is Maggie if I'm correct and I believe that's Walter over there. So um, I, I like that. It's it's a nice it's a nice um, card and it's got pictures of different things that she likes to do like jig her puzzles right there and then different crochet projects and things that she has made. I think it's really, really cool. I like it. So thank you so much, Valerie. Okay, so that is the Valentine's cards. And then the other thing I want to talk about in Tuesday Tidbits is um, I had gotten a message through Instagram from Kayla of Llama Mama Kayla. And if you've been watching her videos, you know that she's been setting up her yarn room. And she had asked me, uh, like how I organize my yarn if I had any suggestions on how to do it and I have mentioned this in the crafting with friends video which you are also seeing today if you're watching it on Tuesday because they'll be posted today although I filmed that one 
yesterday. But anyway, um, I had said that, that I think really yarn organization is kind of a personal thing, you know, however you like it, however it is, it is um, functional for you and also pleasing to your eye. You know, it's, it should be something that you go in there and it just sparks joy to see it. And so, uh, I, but I did tell her that I could show her how, or show, you know, how I organize, how I have my yarn set up. Uh, but, uh, like I said, it's a personal thing. So what the way I do it might not work for somebody else, you know, and, and then also, of course, it makes a difference, like what you have to store your yarn in. I mean, I used to have totes. I stored them that way. I stored them in a bookcase. Um, I think that's how I had them when I very first started making videos. And then my dear husband made me the yarn wall that you see behind me in my videos. Uh, there's Teddy. <laughs> um, and so he made that for me and he made all the little cubbies and he made a little desk area for me to put my sewing machine. He did that all for me in that suite. <laughs> and so uh, now I have my yarn in that. Not all of it, but most of it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, insert a clip where I am talking about how I'm setting up my yarn. So uh, you'll be seeing that. Um, right now. <laughs> so, uh, let's switch over to that clip. Okay, everyone, here is my yarn wall. Uh, now, this is not all of my yarn, uh, but this is the yarn that I mostly work with, okay? And I have those down there, too, okay? Uh, now, I took all my animals down. See, they're all, like, just kind of piled down there. Uh, so, that way, oh, I forgot the mushroom. Well, when I walk over there, I'll take that. I'll take it out. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, this is a yarn wall that my husband built for me, and I'm very proud of it. I thank him so much for doing that for me. I hope I am not moving it too fast. Uh, I am just holding my phone while I'm filming this, so I hope it's okay. <laughs> um, so, when I first started putting my yarn in these, um, uh, cubbies as you can see that that section where my finger there <laughs> that section right there is higher you know there's not as many cubbies it, do, it doesn't go all the way down like that side because um he left this open where i could put my sewing machine uh so and we divided those into some smaller ones be because i thought that i was going to put fabric in those uh, smaller, those like half cubbies. And I ended up not doing that because the fabric, I had just way too much fabric and it was uh, kind of making it bow a little bit. And so um, I didn't want to warp the plywood that he had used. So I decided to put my fabric over that way <laughs> um, in, a, in my closet. Okay. So what I decided to do at that time, I thought, well, I'll put my baby yarn in all this smaller area because I don't have as much. And I'll let that over there, all that, and then all that down there be my worsted weight. Because I thought, oh, well, I have more worsted weight. Well, at the time, I guess I did. But that has changed. <laughs> so now let me walk up a little closer. Hopefully not making everybody dizzy <laughs> and hope it's focusing okay is that all of it yeah okay so that is my baby yarn uh that cubby right is it focused can't tell okay <laughs> that right there the top cubby that is my ice cream my lime brand ice cream yarn uh the way i do it is i basically try to do it by brand and then I also try to separate the weight that's the main thing that I do so I've got my DK weight and then my worsted weight that's pretty much all I do I do try to group them in colors as much as I can just the way I can see how much I have for example I have a lot of pink I see <laughs> I hope that's focused 
<laughs> so I have a lot of pink, so I need to make sure that I plan a project using some uh, some pink pretty soon. <laughs> um, so anyway, that is my, a lot of that is Bernat Softy Baby and uh, then just DK Weight Yarn. You know, I have some ice yarns uh, right there is ice yarn right there sorry <laughs> and there is ice yarn it's the only ice yarn that I have and uh but besides that a lot of that is just Bernat softy baby uh lion brand baby yarn I think uh and then uh premier yarn DK and then I even have I don't know I have just all kinds of DK weight yarn <laughs> and so all my DK weight yarn is all of this section all that section okay and then this those cubbies there okay all the way down to there because it also includes my mandala cakes because it's three weight yarn as well so those are all DK weight to there and then I had to move things around because I got more DK weight so those are all DK weight yarn. A lot of that is Premier DK. And then down here is some DK weight that somebody sent to me as a gift. And a lot of that is like Stylecraft DK weight. And I don't remember the other brands, but a lot of brands I hadn't used before. Okay. And then I still had DK weight yarn. <laughs> so, um, not there, right there. Those four right there. Those are DK weight yarn also. Okay. So all my DK weight yarn is all of those. And then one and two. Yeah. Two, those two right there, all the way down to there, not the ones under the bottom. Okay. And then all the rest over here, which is those three, sorry, <laughs> those three on the end, those three right there, they are worsted weight yarns, okay? And I just try to group them by color as much as I can. Um, no, I'm sorry, not those three. Those two, <laughs> yeah, those two. This one and this one is DK weight. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry, worsted weight getting all flustered now. <laughs> Those two are worsted weight yarns all the way down. And then down there at the bottom, let me get over here so you can see. Those are all worsted weight. And there's Teddy. <laughs> okay. So uh, I did try to put my variegated yarns kind of together, like right there and then right there, except I noticed I have a lot of blue, a lot of blue, that, and then it spilled over right there. So I need to do something with, make some, something with blue, a lot of blue in it. Uh, I have orange and yellow over there, down there at the bottom. A lot of that stuff at the bottom is kind of browns and blacks and neutrals and, you know, and then my blues, and then my reds, <laughs> and then I noticed right here, I have that one right there, has got a lot of green, so I have quite a bit of green also, so anyway, that's how I kind of organize it, just mainly by weight, you know, like number four and number three weight yarns, so then I won't mix them up. Okay, so I don't know. Well, no, I was about to say it's probably dark in there, but it's not too bad. Anyway, this is a wardrobe, that an antique wardrobe that I have, that I have uh, shoe racks hanging in there. And I used to have all my yarn in there. <laughs> and uh, not all of it, but a lot of it. And so now I have all that yarn at the top that's actual yarn, all that. That is my yarn for my Feel Better Friend dolls. And then I have my uh, crochet cotton uh, yarn, or not yarn, thread, like for doilies and such. I have some of that in there. Uh, and then some junk. <laughs> anyway, that is for my Feel Better Friend dolls. Okay, this is inside my closet. I have all these trays. They're from Dollar Tree. And all of them have fabric in them, except for the very top, pretty much, yeah, the very, um, well, almost except that one on the left top left it has some kits in it 
but uh, I have one, two, three, four, four across at the very top, sorry. <laughs> that has uh, blanket yarn and chunky weight yarn, and then I have one right there, <laughs> and that is um, some, some chunky yarn and then like some fancy type yarn. A novelty yarn and then that's I don't have that much chunky weight and uh, you know chunky and blanket yarn so I just keep it up there because I don't use it very often anyway all those other baskets right there have uh, fabric in them okay well I thought while I'm showing you I might as well show it all <laughs> so um, this is inside of a dress like a dresser type thing that I, I traded with my son <laughs> that I liked it because the cabinet, see the cabinet, it opens and I like that. <laughs> so anyway, that right there in that cubby, that is DK weight scraps pretty much. And then so is that bucket right there. It's got DK weight yarn, but it's scrap balls. And then of course that is Where's my finger? <laughs> there. <laughs> that is Christmas fabric. More fabric. But anyway, this is scrap balls of DK weight yarn. Okay. The last thing I'm going to show you is this box right there <laughs> is my worsted weight scrap balls. I even have some magic balls there. You know, those. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. <laughs> but anyway, that is my worsted weight scrap balls. That's why I need to make some, some um, scrap balls projects scrappy projects that's why i'm working on for this year <laughs> uh, i even have some jars that have little tiny scrap balls in that are over on my pegboard but anyway um that is it so now i'll go uh put this clip in and uh take you back to me sitting at my desk again okay so I hope you enjoyed that little clip of my yarn organization and maybe that would give you some ideas um but it's, it's pretty simple organization like I was talking about in the video. And so uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, that's it for today's video. Come back in a couple of days for my regular Yarn Joy podcast episode. And I will show you what else I have worked on and if I have finished anything. Um, so, yeah. I hope you come by for another visit. And... Um, I guess that's it. So everybody have a wonderful day and we will see you in the next video. Bye.